This is a short tutorial um, highlighting the recent changes to the process tools page inside of the Touchstone business system. When I go over here to the left, I'm going to look for a process in the four key functions. And when I select a process, it takes me to the new process tools page. So what's happened here is the interface has been updated um, with a new kind of more modern look and feel. All of the functionality that you're used to is the same. Um, what you'll notice is different icons um, that represent those common features. And we've also added some new features, which I'm going to highlight for you. So this is the title of the process here. And if I want to change the title, I just select it. So same functionality that's always existed. If you want to edit anything, you just click on it, and it's going to show you that it's editable. Objective, the same thing. These three features um, uh, have existed in Touchstone for a while now, but they look a little different just because the icons have changed. So this is the mark, uh, make a process public icon. This is a um, mark the process as complete, the documentation complete. And then this is the link to job description icon. Looking over here to the left, you'll see the process tools. This is the work plan right here at the top. Any existing work plans that you would have, you see listed right underneath the work plan header. So this active referral process is a work plan right under the work plan header. The same idea with the other tools, checklist, this is a checklist. To make a work plan, you click the title on the little plus sign, and then you're prompted for um, the new work plan title. Type that in put in the objective, and hit Create Work Plan. So this is the new look and feel of the Work Plan tool. These icons across the top, again, are the same features that you're used to. There's just different icons representing what they do. Like This is the Convert to Checklist icon. Uh, this is the Move Process Tool feature. This is the Print Download feature. When I select this print download, this looks a little different than it did before. Um, when, if I want to export a tool to a PDF, now I click Send to Printer, and it's going to open up your local printer settings, and you choose in the destination Save to PDF, which all printers have this now um, integrated within them. If I want to export this to Word, then I choose the Download to Word button. Close this out. This is the archive feature, which allows you to archive um, versions of your process tools. And then here's delete. If you want to restore something in the archive, a tool in the archive, you go here to where it says archived. So you would choose the tool that you've archived and that you want to restore. So I'm on this new work plan here. And then you go right to the archive to find it. Deleted the same thing. If you accidentally deleted a work plan, you go here to delete it and you can view what you've deleted. If I go down here and click Add Task, then you'll see the new Task Toolbar. So this toolbar is the same inside of all of the tools. These um, features within the toolbar are things that you're all very familiar with. Um, there's expanded fonts here in the font section. Um, there's the same bullets and numbering that you're used to. If I want to make a link, I just click in the field and then that untitled word goes away. I type in my link word, highlight the link word, and then this is the hyperlink um, icon. And when I click on this, I hit the drop down and I can do an external link with the URL or I can link um, in to something that's inside of Touchstone. The most exciting thing that we've added to the process tools regarding this toolbar is drag and drop images. So now I can take an image and drag it right into the task field and let go, and then the image will appear. I can also resize the images uh, better. I'm just pulling in and out from the sides here to move it. The new um, drag and drop images creates this little border so it's easier to expand it and move it in and out. And then I save it. So here's the image. 
You can browse for an image if you prefer that, and that's this icon here. So when you click that, it goes to a, a browse feature where you can browse or drag the image here. But the easiest way is to just drag your image right into the task. We have added the ability to create tables inside of the tasks. So here you can add a table and do cell rows and um, columns. I will say, though, the table is a nice feature if you want to make a list of things, but the, the tables inside of work plans are not fillable. In other words, if you build a form inside of a task and then you want to use it on the dashboard inside of a work plan, it's not editable. So um, if you want an editable form, something you can fill in and save back to Touchstone, then you're going to want to use the custom form tool or the document tool. We also have a new page break icon, which is this one right here. So why this is um, an interesting new feature is if you do want to create a work plan that is multiple pages long and you want to control where it cuts off when you print it, then you can now put a page break in. And then when you export it to, um, you use the uh, print button and choose the export to PDF, then you will be able to create your own page breaks. So this is what a completed work plan looks like now. You'll see it's got more of a polished look and feel to it with the upgraded interface. It's all still click to edit though. So when I click this, this task opens up and shows me the toolbar. And then I need to save, cancel, or delete to move on from this. Work uh, checklists and scripts and the other tools work the same way if you want to build one. So you just click the title, the little plus sign, put in the name, hit create and build it. This is what the checklist tool now looks like. Same thing, click to edit, these open and I can edit them using this the new toolbar. The scripts have um, a bit of a change to them uh, that's different than the other tools. Our scripts used to go from left to right, so the prompt was on the right side and the script was on the left side. Now we're doing them top to bottom. So you can see here, prompt is the greeting, script is what is said, and they just toggle one on top of each other. When I click these, same as before, this is click to edit. In uploaded files, um, the biggest and best change here is drag and drop uploaded files. So I'm just going to give this a new name or a name of my file. Then I hit create uploaded file. Now you'll see this new header or title for the file exists down over here. And then this field appears. And it couldn't be easier. You just take a file, drag it right on top of where it says drag and drop and let go. And then Touchstone loads the file and saves it automatically. If I want to view this file, I just hit view file and it's going to then launch whatever software program that it was created in and show me the file. If I want to replace this file with a new one, then I just take the new file and I drag it right on top of, uh, right underneath it, and it will replace the old one with the new one. Going down, um, the document tool is pretty much the same as, as it has always been. It's just click to edit like before. The addition is the new toolbar here. So I'm going to hit cancel down at the bottom of this. Custom forms, um, all the functionality is the same. It just has more uh, uh, the, the better look and feel. Um, policy notes. Same thing, um, updated template, updated look and feel, but all of the fields and the functionality are the same. With video and audio, um, these two tools have been upgraded to the drag and drop, which is also really cool. So I'm going to type in a title for my video, hit create video, and then I see this familiar drag and drop feature here, take the video, drag it right on top and let go, and then Touchstone loads the video, which depending on how long your video is could take um, 